Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing a new game that just came out on December 11. It's called The Wind and Wilting Blossom. Let's jump in it and learn about it. I don't know nothing about this game, guys, so bear with me. We're gonna read a little bit. I saw a little bit of videos, but it really looks interesting and very fun to play out. So, who do we have? The bio of this character. His name is Oyataro Mitsu Mitsukuni. Was dispatched by Emperor Suzaku to put down the remainders of Taro no Masakando failed rebellion. He is depicted alongside a companion in the famous Yukio E print by Yutagawa Kuni Kuniyoshi, Takashina the Witch, and the Skeleton Spectre. 1844. We have layouts. Oh, we can't. We have Wado. We have food. Key. Ammo use. So we have two soldiers here. Three health. Two armor. Three moves. Okay. And what's 35? Threat. So for example, they're gonna target him because he has a hundred more than the foot soldiers. Okay. Normal. Battle are easier and whatever they increase. No, no. Let's play normal. Oh, generating a world. So it's a little bit road-like. So we'll see what's up. Anyways, so let's start the story. The role is ravaged by monsters. Takiyasha, the witch, the daughter of the traitor Tara no Mazakado, has used dark sorcery to rekindle her father's failed rebellion. During the first uprising, Oya Taro Mitsukuni, champion of Emperor Suzaku, was defeated by the Gashadoru, a giant skeleton summoned by the witch. Having failed the emperor, Mitsukuni fell in cowardice as Takashiwa raised an army of Hokai and began her war. While hiding in the island of Yakashima, Yakash yeah, Yakashima, sorry, south of Kyuchu, Mitsukuni learns of a rumor. Serve the severed head of Masakado, the traitor, on display of Hain Kayo speak. Who would ever better to defeat the Takashiwa than her own father? With the chance of redemption, Mitsukumi must have make his way through Kuyusha and beyond to the imperial city of Kanzai. Okay, cool. Wow. So, exit. What's the... Okay, so let's start. We roll. The party forage among supplies discarded by escaping refugees. A quick search reveals nothing of value as the party marches on. Yokai come charging over a hill. Party prepared to battle. Ooh. First turn, already there's a battle. Okay, so I'm not going to read all that. I'm going to read it in my head. You could pause the video if you guys want to read it. Okay, so pretty up forward. You have to kill them fast. You see, it seems to have four move to health. So let's take this guy. Flank. Can do nothing. Him go forward. Our other soldier go forward. And can we do anything else? Doesn't seem. Oh, the damage is real. Perfect. Oh, what's that? Minus one. What does that do? Snare. Affected unit has one less movement. Okay. Can I attack? Okay. Here we go. Two damage on this one. One damage on this one. And you're dead. So this one can move still. And we're out. Oh, I really need to kill them quick though. Gold, our friend here, two damage. Oh, I didn't do it properly. Anyways, we're gonna lose a little bit of gold. So basically, I have armor that's gonna regenerate, but not for the health. So let's go front, hit. And we're done. So we lose 10 golds right now. That is not good. But it is what it is. 
So we got eight gold. That's cool. Next level. Oh, so we got more food and a scroll. So the party dispatches the yokai. Sakura Meja. The party has spoken by face tremors shaking the ground. The people of the small camp party spend the night a month and are desperately parking their belongings and fleeing in boats and makeshift rafts. A dangerous crack fills the air and is accompanied by another tremor. Sakura Mija is erupting. The sky fills with gray smoke glowing and glowing red magma churns beneath the billowing smoke columns. As the party looks on an, an astonishment, Mitsukini spots a rigorous figure circling the smokes. Not simple crowd, he thinks. What a nefarious creature has caused such devastation this time. The party braves the eruption and climbs a volcano. This is dangerous, it's best to flee with the others. Huh, interesting. So we have choices, guys. FYI, I'm so sorry if. And makes errors just so that you guys know English is not my first language so sometimes the words are gonna be hard plus with the Japanese names and everything I'm gonna slaughter most of them just be clement with me guys but on that note let's continue I think we're badass samurais we're gonna climb that volcano the party climbs the mountain slops as best they can frequently knocked to the ground by the volcano's quakes after the long and adrious climb they finally reach to the peak they stare into a crater bubbling with magma and spurting jets of lava dangerously close to where they stand a glint of metal from one of the jets catches mr jenny eyes something appears to be sorry something appears to have been ejected from the crater through the haze of falling ashes Mits mitsukuni also spies the wicked creature a deity a day tingu circling and swooping near the small desk crawling scrolls fluttering in the air investigate the metal object or investigate the strange desk yeah let's see the objects oh gold yeah did sakurama caught up a scattered treasure from where the molten depths mitsukini hurries over there where it landed staying on the far side of the crater crest and praying none of the sputtering lava lands on his head the risk is great so perhaps the reward will be as well Half running, half sliding, Mitsukuni scurries down the crater's edge and collects the object in his thick robe. Scrambling away from the edges, he finally comes to the place of respite and crouches down to examine the prizes. Nine gold. Whipping sweat from the bone, Mitsukuni leads the party away from the volcano. Cool. So we had a d decision. Ooh, do we go into the rain? There's a shop. We have 47. Meh. Let's go up. Ooh, what is this? Purple stuff down. Anyways, event. A dark shrine lies before the party. The corruption feels heavier than usual here. An inky black tendril spider web to the woods and stones of the shrine. A black tendril spider web the wood and stone of the shrine. No signs of life are visible. And Mitsukuni edges forward to peer through the broken doorway. The same zigzag of inky darkness lined the walls inside as well, and they seem attracted to, or perhaps emanating from, a weapon that sits on the central stand within the ruin. Mitsukuni warily approached the weapon. The party decides to leave. No good will come from entering this tainted place. You know what? I know it's a trap, but if the weapon could be maybe good for us, let's try it. Oh no! Damage! Stepping towards Mitsukuni picks up the weapon. The inky tendril whips whip out of the scarbard and strikes, drawing blood. The darkness dependent on drone emanates from the earth. Nursing his wound hand, Mitsukuni drops the weapon and flees the structure. Binds the wound and leaves the party on, leaving the cursed shrine far behind. Oh no! Well that's not good. Anyways, it is what it is. Sometimes risk reward is not that good. So we could go through here. We could go back through the water. Or we could go to the big city here. That the Zaifu. Let's go see the Oh! Tutorial. Oh, that's good to know. So we cannot be touched by the purple. That's where FTL comes into line, where you always need to advance and go forward and you make decisions. Skirting the remains of the burning village, the party is charged by Yokai, still smeared with evidence of carnage. Oh! We rush into battle. Okay, defeat the enemies. So we have these ones that's going to slow us down with snares. What does this one do? Does one damage? A uh, point blank penalty. So if we're close, he can't do damage as much. Okay. So do we rush them into submission here? Let's go front. 
Let's go behind and let's go in front. We're not going to do anything this turn. Let them advance. Four. Here we go. Okay. That's our turn. Uh, advance. You come in front. Damage. You come in front. Can we damage anybody? No. This. Oh, that's not going to be good. Oh, we're going to get that many though. Let's damage him. Let's damage him. Let's get the money. I wonder. Ah, uh, let's get the money. Oh no, I can't. Oh, that was dumb. Anyways, our guy's gonna take damage. Oh, that's a bummer. Can our guy attack? And take the money. We're done. Yeah. Mahi Sakine, our party member got damaged, that's not good. But we have more food and all. Oh, it's a shop. No, huh. here's our excuse. Let's go to the shop. Searching for a restaurant in the Zaifu that he once ate, ate at, Mitsukani leads the party into a confusing warren of alleys and side streets. The restaurant is nowhere to be found, but after another left turn, the party is sudden dumped out onto a bustling commercial street. A hodgepodge of storefronts and street vendors offering plenty of varieties. The party agrees to spend some time battering, or the party wasted too much time looking for the restaurant that they may not even exist anymore. Time to get to moving. No, let's see what we could get. We never saw it, so let's see what's up. Oh, don't worry. Oh my god, so much information. Okay, we could buy some food. Does it say how much I actually use? I didn't pay attention. We have, we could buy food, see no scrolls, could buy some key. So I would pay $14 to heal both of them. Plus one, it comes to the same actually. So let's heal. So both of our friends are healed. Weapons. That's pretty cool. I wonder if I could use different weapons on my friend here. There's weapon inventory. 50. Anyways, we can't even buy anything. Oh, a Tento. Oh, that's cool. One damage. This one does two damage for the same, so it's really not that good. A right, katana. A oh, Yumi. Costs one ammo. So we don't even have ammo, so we need to have ammo. Okay, what's a farmer do? A farmer does three, no defense, a little bit of movement. 35. Why would I have a farmer? That's useless. Anyways. What's these? Charms. Equip charms versus charms. Interesting. The darkness is delayed by one third at the start of every region. Oh, that's cool. Party member gain plus one range to all range attack. Okay. Party is immune to ambush. Okay. Immune to win. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, okay. To be honest, I don't think I'm gonna buy drag to sell so we could take stuff and drag it there to sell. Okay, I think just for the healing is worth it so we're done do we exit now we have time i wonder if we have to go there oh here we go uh weapon reach chioko or shikoku so we have a yari rare does two phase one damage once unlocked weapon will be available in future plays okay that's cool okay here we go leaders win the game as a normal make 200 attacks with ammo Across all playthrough, kill 250 humans, make 200 attacks. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Because we did this one, we got a weapon once. Okay, that's cool. Story. As the party wins through Shugoku, they discover a group of refugees who, who, who plead with Mitsukuni to provide them with letters of safe conduct to enter Hainan Kyo. Mitsukuni responds with confusion. What is all this about letters? Since when does one need permission to enter an imperial city? This punted, a refugee replies, don't you know? 
with war ravaging the countryside, no one may enter the city without imperial order. Mitsukuni is at a loss, apologizing to the refugee he muses along. If I recall correctly, there is a clerk nearby who once worked for the Emperor Tuzaku. Perhaps this clerk could assist in our journey to Henyang Kyo. The party continues to find a clerk. So we need to find a clerk. Story Mitsushima. Yashi, so basically these two are gonna be stores most likely. There's an event, I like to see the story and then the exit. So clearly I think we're gonna go through the story and then try to exit. So the party rests and sharpens blades for the battle ahead. Mitsukuni shittles his weapon, Hokai descends on the party. The sun is setting and the party can't ill afford a drawn out fight. This is vital to dispatch these beasts quickly. Alright, let's do this. So turns remaining. Okay. So this one is protected, so we need to attack fast. So let's go like wait. Him. Front. Attack him. Let's go fast. I guess you can do nothing. You go front. Damage. Oh, this one maybe? Oh no, we can't. First turn. Okay. Oh, ensnare. So, our friend here, are you gonna damage? Perfect. You're gonna go in front. You. Actually, front damage. Him. Totally in front. Damage him. And our turn. So. I wonder if... Oh no, yeah, you can't really move it. That's a big detour. Anyways. Okay, you do not want to get attacked. I'm going to run you over there so that you don't get hit. Actually, can I... This one's going to run... And we do nothing. Okay. Okay. This one front. This one far. Because it's closer. That's a little bit of a bummer though. Anyways. You come. Oh, that was not good what I did. Yeah, whatever. Uh, let's end the turn. He missed because we're too close. That's good. You kill him. And you take the gold. Ooh, what do we got? A plunder. Loot five Wado tokens in one combat. Wait, in one battle, sorry. Okay. What does that do? It's a merchant. Does one damage. Collect all of the Wado plus 20. So collect all, collect Wado plus 20%. Round it up. Okay. Has one range of everywhere. So that's an ability. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. This game is very fun. So now we're done. So let's end. We got 22. That's good. And we got, oh, we could have our party healed. The slaughter is quick and efficient. Oh, Lord. Do we try to party? Who do we try? Do we, we have five. Oh, technically I could already heal up one person. It would give me one more health and one more uh, damage. Okay. To be honest, I almost want to wait just one turn to level up these two babies. Our allies, it's going to be good. So, oh, I don't like, can we go there? No. I don't like to see storm. The party wins its way through the wilderness, rounding a bend in the trail. They are started by a large group of soldiers. You are entering the shonen of Fujiraha, Moroji. You must turn back. Mitsui explained his mission to the soldier, emphasizing there is no time to waste. Yeah, let's be honest. We understand your mission. We too fight the Hokai every day, but we cannot allow you to pass. The party has no choice but to turn back and search for a new pass. The party is blessed with a good luck and easily locate a new pass to save some precious time. 
Okay, but we're able to advance. Anyways, I wonder if I should just skip one, two, three, or... Yeah, let's go out of this rain. The party agrees to try and save time by leaving the road and cutting through a nearby glitch. It has. It is not long before a fitter overwhelms them. A fitter. I don't know what the hell is that, but whatever. And running a bend. The east side of the glitch abruptly transitions from rock and soil to a wall of corpses. The entire canyon side is accumulation of farmer, uh, okai, children, warriors, and things that no living man has names for. The entire party stares on wordlessly sanity at the breaking point. Oh damn. Making a matter of infinitely worse, one form detaches itself from the wall and steps towards the party. Oh, hello there. This has been rather boring, so I think I will be going with you. Nothing about this experience makes sense. Mitsukuni, feet rooted in place, nods wordlessly. Okay. What is that? Is, an is any of this actually happening? The word joins the party. Ooh, we have a new party member. That's cool though. Uh, Shiro Nogushi, the level 1 farmer, has joined the party. Inexplicably, the party is, is suddenly at the other end of the glitch. They press on. Okay. So we have a new party member. Ooh. So we could disband them though. Okay. If I increase, I would have more health, but I would never have damage. Interesting. Level up. You need two actually. But I don't think I want them. It doesn't even do damage. Two speed. That has three speed. No armor. Same amount I have, but not a threat. So sometimes a threat makes it that it could do some finishing blow. I'm gonna keep it for now, because... Unless I see my, my supplies of food going down. So it's one food per place. That's not bad. Okay. The road leads to the party to a raised, raised village. Ruins still smoldering with the white wisp of smoke. As Mitsukuni searches for survivors, a sudden clatter of falling boards reveals a band of Hokai picked over the remains. Oh damn. Okay. Okay. So here's our little farmer in the back. Our damage. We need to get to that person ASAP. We do three damage. So how far can you go? You could go up to here. You could go up to here. Let's do you do two damage. You kill him. You go up, up, up. And to be honest, I want her to be sneaky and maybe attack this one. There's nothing we could do, eh? And this one neither. Oh! The farmer is done. In snare? I don't... Okay. Okay, who do we attack? To be honest, come here. Can't do nothing about it. Okay. Uh, move. Can't do nothing about it, so... I wonder... To... You know what? We're gonna kill you before you make too much damage. Let's make them come towards us, actually. And her. Nothing. Ah, here we go. Perfect. They're ensnaring. Okay. Take the gold, you go down, you go here, I shouldn't have done that. I need to think about my move more and take the gold. So we have a decent amount of gold, we're good, end of turn. Stuck in the mud, interesting. Yeah, we took some damage from our farmer. Oh, stuck in the mud. After the first turn in a battle, every party member be snared every turn. Okay. But we get a weapon. What's that? A Menriki Kusari. I wonder, guys, if these weapons are the actual names. That'd be pretty cool. So this one does one damage for one cost of ammo. Three range. Applies snare, but has a disadvantage of point blank penalty if people are too close. So it's a ranged weapon. It's like a two, not a stick, but two medals with some chains. Pretty epic. I want this, actually. I want a Yari. 
It's like a lance. I'm actually down. Oh, let's see actually. After dispatching the fool's creatures, the fool creatures, the party discover a villager bound and gagged by the UK. The party offers the villager a chance to join them or party release the prisoner. You know what? Follow us. Another farmer. Eh, that's all right. We could be surprised. Sometimes we could have some people help us out. Oh yeah, so we don't have weapons. It's just it unlocks it. Okay. As they approach the former clerk's, the, uh, the former clerk's hometown, the party comes upon an assemb assemblage of fleeing townsfolk. Mitsu Mitsukuni calls out the crowd, demanding to know what is going on, but no one stops to speak with them. Abruptly, Mitsukuni is nearly beloaded over by a small man fleeing in a panic. As fortune would have it, this man is the imperial clerk the party seeks. Yeah! Grabbing the man by the shoulder and shaking some sense into it, Mitsukuni demands to know the source of all of this commotion. The clerk responds, Okay, you are attacking the town. Soon there will be nothing left in it. Casting politeness aside, Mitsukuni demands the clerk to provide the party with imperial orders to enter Hain Kyo. Y yes, the clerk stampers. If I had my seal, I could certainly do that, but at last. I left it at my desk and anyone who enters the town now is certain to be killed. Mitsukuni orders the man to wait as the party attempts to retrieve the imperial seal. Yeah, let's do this. The weapons drawn, the party marches into town. Rounding a street corner, they find a pack of Oni fighting over the fresh corpse of an unlikely townsman. Spotting Mitsukuni, they drop the tater body and rush to attack. Okay. Oh, look at those monsters. They're spooky. Oni. Oh, yeah, look at there. Oh, that sucks. Okay. So we have two villagers with no defense, two soldiers. Okay, let's see what we could do. Do we force them to attack? We only have five. Yeah, let's force them then to the side. It's gonna help. You know what? I'm gonna make them come towards us. Does two damage, applies knockback unit that collides attack one damage. Okay. Let's see. So that's one bam. Uh, ooh, that hurts like crazy. We sort of need to like gank them. And like come back. Let's make some damage. Um. Okay, this one's not gonna do nothing. Sort of like we need to gank, anyways. Yeah. Oh, that hurts. You know what? I wonder if they're gonna attack him necessarily. Oh! Oh no! Our first death, guys. That is not good. But they're like super strong, eh? So. <laughs> Our farmers are gonna survive. So we did it. Okay, but we lost a soldier. Yeah, rest in peace, sea kind. Uh, with no time to waste, Mitsukuni leads the party through the chaotic streets to the clerk's residence. Upon arriving to the party, splits up inside the homestead to locate the seal. After several tense minutes, he finds it tucked in a first floor cabinet, the imperial seal. Eager to avoid further comment, the party retrace its path out of time uh, out of town sorry so two more food one more scroll shockingly the clerk re reminded by that roadside as instructed and Mitsuki waved the seals in his face mitsukuni briefly recounts the seals recovery as promised the clerk rewards the party with the imperial order to enter high in kyo the party continues towards the imperial city so when the story battle in this place we got a protective what's that 
absorbs one damage. Ooh, you see, I want that. Absorbs one damage, one per range. That's cool, that's cool. So I guess the first one, we're not gonna have much, so we expect to die as, but to go as far as we can. And then from there on after that, with shops and everything, we'll be able to, uh, to uh, be stronger and stronger. Yeah, okay. So anyways, guys, I think that's gonna be all for today. I wonder, can we save? Anyways, well, you know what that means, guys. Exit game.